Hello world, this is Dennis, and for today's shortwave radio video, I'm going to go over basically... No, I don't like that. And the damn camera moved. Mother frickin' son of a Godzilla. <laughs> okay, start again. Three, two... Uh, should both of them on the same damn frequency. Point nine nine eight. Boink. Okay, three, two, one. Hello world, this is Dennis, and i got a new shortwave radio uh, video for you. Um, I was recently asked by one of my uh, subscribers in the comments uh, which of these two radios I like better, the ICOM ICR75 or the Elinko DXR8. And in, may, in my opinion, between the two radios, I prefer the uh, ICOM. Now, the reason is, and it might be just, you know, trivial and stuff like that, but the, the main reason is I like the way this tunes and I like the way it sounds. The built-in speaker on this is... The audio is alright, but if you're on a really strong station, um, the speaker does tend to overload, and that's even with um, hitting the attenuator, knocking down the uh, the dBs a bit. Um, let's see here, but that's one of the, one of the issues. And like I said, the other is um, tuning. The nice thing about the ICOM is it has a tuning step button, so you can change, you know, how you tune. The, the frequencies like so plus in my opinion even when you got so like you know where it tunes this here it tunes a lot faster than it does on the uh, on the Elinko for, for to me it just seems like it takes forever to tune around with this thing 99 oh I think I had this on the wrong frequency oh well so yeah, the main tuning dial is slow, but it does have this nice feature. Um, let me see if I can turn this without the... I can't really zoom in with this thing, sorry about that. But getting back on point, it does have these uh, tuning buttons where you can go into the settings and like on the AM mode, I have it um, tuning at 5 hertz steps. Whereas um, when you go into single sideband... I believe it's uh, one one kill or one hertz steps. Yeah, that's what I thought. So those are my two biggest gripes with the Elinko DXR8. Like I said, it's not a bad radio. It's just you know for operation um, using the thing. It's uh, kind of irritating. It does have a nice big screen though. That I like. As you can tell, it's a little bit better or a little bit bigger than. The in the icon here. Oh, and I just remembered. I really should just write stuff down before I make these videos. Anyhow, <laughs> um, my other gripe with the Elinko is, um, as you can see here, the um, numerical buttons here they're a lot smaller than they are on the icon. Let me um, let me move the tripod in a little bit closer. I got my webcam on the tripod here and it's connected directly to the to the PC so I'm a little bit limited to what I can do but um, here you can see on the ICOM here are its numerical buttons and over here on the Elinko it's uh, smaller buttons so you have to be a little bit more careful when you're pushing the buttons another thing that the ICOM has that the, um, the Elinko doesn't have are these twin passband tuning um, dials here for um, adju making adjustments when like you're listening the single side man and let's say you got um, like a high pitched tone and you want to kind of tune that out you can do it with this um, with the Elinko it's got the IF shift which doesn't really help out that much I'm suspecting if it was like the the ICOM and had you know two different um, dials for adjusting that it would probably be a, um, it would probably work out better, but like I said, it just works better on the ICOM. And that pretty much would be my major gripes with the Elinko. Um, like I mentioned with the speaker, I won't, with the sound I get out of this thing, I mainly 
like using this for just listening to you know amateur radio stuff, uh, amateur radio communications. Whereas with the ICOM, this is my main DXing machine. Now let me just uh, back this up real quick, and hopefully you can get an idea what the speakers uh, sound like. Make sure this is back on AM mode. Okay, we got. Um, I think this is WWCR or maybe WRMI. It's whatever brother stares on right now. Uh, 9.980 megahertz. Uh, this is the Linko. Every hour of every day broadcast that goes forth from this frequency or this radio station, we have an update for our telephone call in service where you can. Notice the bit of the, the rattle in the speaker um, with the stronger signal. The nice thing is it does have this RF button, like I said, where I can knock down the the DVs. And that number is seven one two eight three two two three eight. Even with knocking it down, there's still a bit of a rattle in the speaker. All the time. Okay, now let me switch over to the ICOM real quick. Numbers where they have restricted your call, you can call this number. T Mobile listeners, you dial 360-398-4309. T Mobile. In my opinion, the uh, ICOM's built-in speaker has a uh, richer sound than the Alinko does. Um, so if you were to come up to me and ask to me, you know, on e eBay or on maybe some website, they might still have these brand new, you know, between the two, the ICOM ICR75 and the Alinko DXR8, you know, which one should I buy? And I said, and I would say if you're only going to get one, get the ICOM. It's it's a much better radio. It's uh, more user-friendly. It's got a lot of nice features to it. Nice sound coming out of the speaker. I would say only get the Alinko if you're mainly interested in tuning around like on single sideband and um, you know amateur radio, the utility frequencies. Uh, maybe even listening to the pirate stations uh, in single sideband mode. That's what I would recommend this one for. Um, I believe both radios are no longer in production. I'm not 100% sure about that, so don't take me on, don't take my word for it. Um, so, if you're going to go the eBay route, they're probably going to start getting more expensive. Um, but like I said, you might still be able to find uh, websites out there that might have the brand new units they can purchase at a decent price. But, just let me reiterate, if you're only going to get one, get the ICOM. Now, somebody might ask, well, if you don't you know, care too much of, for the link, are you going to get rid of it? No, not really, because like I said, I still use it for tuning around the amateur radio bands. Like I said, it's just a little bit more irritating with the tuning dial. It takes a little bit longer, but you know that's what direct entry keypad is for, or these up and down buttons. You know, for example... Let me switch back over to Yelinko real quick, and let's go up to 20 meters. Um, let me switch my antenna switch over to the off-center fed dipole, and let's just uh, tune it around real quick. Doop, doop, a doop, a doop. Oh, before I forget, that's another thing I don't really care for. On here, it has a mode button where you switch between AM, FM. Uh, CW and upper and lower sideband, whereas with the ICOM here, those are all separate, separate buttons. So that's a lot more convenient, in my opinion, so hitting the same button, you know, several times. Like I said, it's just a you know personal gripe of mine. Some people might might not bother them, but for me it does. But anyhow, um, here's a 20 meter handband on my oxen fed dipole. Let's uh, tune me real quick.
Not too bad of a signal. Years old. I had it on this morning, it was 62 when I got up. Like I said, audio for if you're listening to single sidebam is not too bad. Let's uh, just tune into the same frequency using the ICOM here. So that's 14.207 megahertz. Uh, upper sideband. There we go. Uh, the wind must have picked up. That's why the signal is a little, a little iffy. The one-to-one uh, -one balance I'm currently using for that, um, for the off-center fit dipole, it's uh, it's kind of iffy. Um, it doesn't always have a great connection to the wire that I've got wrapped around it. So I got the center insulator, but I need to get some better wire because what I'm using right now are various lengths of wire that I've used for various projects, and I just wrap the uh, the exposed ends together and electrical tape them together so it's not exactly the best for an antenna but that's a different video so anywho i uh, hope you enjoyed this video and as always peace and all that good stuff <laughs>